here at United Way of Greater Lorain County. Today we're going to learn about the intersection of health and education, specifically with middle graders, grades 4 through 8. You all remember those days, don't you? Our friends at Lorain County Public Health are the lead agency staff of this really cool collaborative. Their work is to get those middle schoolers ready for high school and beyond. Hi, my name is Jillian Cremona and I work at Lorain County Public Health. Uh, my colleague Kat and I facilitate the Common View Collaborative. We are often asked why the health department leads an education collaborative and the answer really comes down to the social determinants of health. So the social determinants of health are those environmental conditions and social conditions that we all live our lives in. Um, two of the biggest uh, social determinants of health that lead to good health outcomes throughout a lifetime are education and income. So we have a vested interest in making sure that everyone completes their education and gets a good job. We focus on middle schoolers because they're a high need group. Um, anyone who's been to middle school or anyone who has a middle schooler knows that this can be a tricky time in life. Uh, this is definitely when we start to see an increase in risk-taking behaviors. Uh, and this is definitely a critical time for development to set up positive uh, health behaviors that will last a lifetime. Can you tell us how this is different from what schools do every day? Well, it's allowed them to dig into these issues deeper, wider, and stronger. One of the key things that's been helpful with the Common View Collaborative is the ability of the three school districts to work together to test some of these ideas in different ways. So Firelands will try one way to engage kids in a salad bar, and Midview will try a slightly different way, and Clearview will try a, a third way, and they can compare what they've learned and see what they can learn from each other. It's amazing that that simple thing of having schools work together and share what they've learned can really change the conversation. So of course these schools are doing that already. They can do it better, stronger, and faster together. In Common View, we challenge our partners to think in terms of primary prevention, to be the pink fence, intervening before health effects occur. Primary prevention is valuable in adolescence because it has the ability to reduce the risk of incidence and prevalence of disease and risky behavior because it focuses on preventing it before it develops. So how do you know that the programs are working? Well, one way is before most programs and activities occur, a pre-test is given to the students about knowledge or skills that the intent is to improve on. So we kind of see the pre-test, so to speak, how those kids are doing before they engage in the activity or in the learning. Then, of course, a post-test is done later, after that learning happens, to see what the kids have figured out, what they've retained, what of those skills are they practicing. And that's pretty standard. But of course, it doesn't really stop there. For example, there's something called the Pride Survey that is given to many students in Lorain County that looks at their diet and exercise and also asks some questions about use of substances, smoking, vaping, and so on. So when eighth graders are getting that test, then based on uh, what we learn, we're able to give them some programming in the schools that improves some skills, hopefully reduces some risky behavior, but then we can test again in 10th grade, kind of bridging that gap between the middle school grade and those high school grader grades, the skills that they've retained and continue to practice from eighth grade to 10th grade. So this learning continues on and it's reinforced in those higher grades. And that's really the way that we can see that this information and these new skills are sticking over time so that kids can be successful as they move on through high school and then as they graduate.